Hey guys, Billzoid here, and today I have a very, well, I don't know, for me, it's a, it's a great moment, again, I've done it again, but for, for I think the rest of you is more like, oh cool, but whatever, I want to show off. So I was playing with the RX 480 VRM, and uh, well, it still has some issues, but I wanted to test if it can actually power something. So, transition, Humph. That is the mess that we're going to be turning on. I'm just turning it on and getting into the BIOS because it's not currently built for anything more than that. At least not, it, theoretically it shouldn't survive anything more than that. So let's take a closer look at the disaster. That there is the back of the RX 480 VRM. Those yellow lines connect the V-core of the RX 480 VRM to the V-core of the GTX 570. Uh, as you can clearly see, and I actually managed to get away with soldering this with my s smaller soldering iron because I'm using these smaller wires, but yeah, and it's actually not dropping that much voltage currently, but eh, I still, like, there's not enough wires. We have, like, uh, there's, like, I think it's 60? Yeah, that's, no, that's 70 amps of V-core, and there's, like, 50, no, 60, no, yeah, 50 amps of ground. So, basically, if I wanted to run this at, like, full speed, it would probably melt all of the insulation and then possibly start a fire which would be extremely pleasant, of course. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to post and go into BIOS. Anyway, uh, on this side, it's the, that's, you know, front of the RX 480. You can still see all the display outputs, uh, SATA power connector for 3.3 volts, and uh, which other one was it? 3.3 volts and 12 volts. Yeah, well, 3.3 volts because I need that to turn on the voltage controller. 12 volts just because I can. 12 volts is the yellow one, goes up here. Uh, that goes to this six pin here, which is also 12 volts. And this six pin is wired in such a way that it's actually as power capable as a eight pin. So that can deliver 300 watts. I have no idea what the SATA connector can do. I'm guessing probably like 20, 25, maybe, maybe 50. In which case this whole thing can do like 350, amp, uh, 350 watts. There's no heat sink on the VRM right now, which is a bit of an issue because I've pretty much, like I've overvolted the VRM. Okay, so normally an RX 480 has a separate circuit for powering all the MOSFET, gate, uh, MOSFET drivers. Uh, what I currently have running on there is 12 volts to the drivers, which you're not supposed to do. Like, there's not, like the MOSFETs technically can take 15 volts to the, to the gate. Okay, that's the maximum rating. Is it smart to run them at 12 volts? Not really, but I want, like, I, it's the easiest way to get this to fire up. So anyways. Without further ado, let's actually get it running, right? That, that'd be the thing that probably most of you want to actually see. Does, does it burn my house down or does it actually start? So, ta-da! And here we have a multimeter. This is currently not plugged into anything, um, unfortunately. But uh, wait, I'll try. I'll get some blue tack and a fix voltage sense so you can see the voltage when it fires up. And I'm actually really surprised with this so I'm also testing out like a new method of like doing my uh, connections between vCore and power. And there we go. I think that's hooked up. Okay, we're seeing 105 millivolt, 105 millivolts, which I think is just garbage. Um, that multimeter just spits out garbage a lot of the time. Ah, it's not very good. Anyway, moment of truth. My house burning down in three, two, one. Well, no smoke. So that's a good thing. We can clearly see that we are at 1.19 volts on the V-Core, which is too much, and I'm not actually sure why it's doing that, which is a problem, um, but it's good, okay? The problem would, be, like, a real problem would be if this was below, like, 0.8 volts or something, because then the card wouldn't start. And we already have... Huh? There! Files! Ta-da! Works! It works! I know, incredible. <laughs> Doesn't burn my house down. Uh, it does have a few issues. The VRM currently does not run, for, uh, runs four phases instead of six, which is a problem of, I don't know how big proportions. I'm not sure if that's because it's trying to do some kind of efficiency thing, or if I just broke two of the phases when I was cutting it, um, or wiring it up. I'm not sure. I checked uh, with the VRM unloaded, and the PWM signals are really, really messed up for some reason. So. 
Like, there's three phases which are running exactly how I'd expect them to. There's three phases, one of them is being weird, and then three, two, the other two, which aren't running at all, well, they aren't, they aren't running at all, and there's no PWM signal going to them, so I have no idea. It's like the voltage controller doesn't want to accept that they exist. Um, and that might be because the 3567B is doing a power efficiency thing, because it can turn off phases, can turn phases on and off dynamically, or I shorted out the current sense for those two phases, and basically that's the way, if you short out the current sense for, uh, for a phase on a 3567B, that's how you disable it. So I might have done that by accident and it's missing phases, but uh, I don't really think that's what happened. I, I don't know. I need to figure that out. Um, important thing is it starts, it runs, and that's the, that's the cool thing, right? So getting 1.18 volts, if we check what the actual board so what the RX480 is spitting out, then the RX480 VRM is spitting out 1.196, and we're reading 1. Point, yeah, that's a that's way better. That's way better idle voltage, like 1.118 versus 1.195. That's like 15 millivolts of voltage droop. That's amazing compared to what I had before uh, with the E power, and that's mostly because I wired the E power like a complete idiot. So the big change here, there's a lot less power available. Like, I technically, right now, this is actually worse in terms of power throughput because those are 18 or, no, those are 16s. So those are 16 AWG wires connecting the V court and the, the ground. And there's five wires for ground. So that's 50, 50 amps ground and there's 70 amps V core. So pretty much that is worse than what I wired the E power for. The E power when I was wiring it, that was like, that was several of these. This being 8AWG. This is copper 8AWG. This is, I think it's 40 amps per, yeah, 40 amps for, for one, of, one connection of this. The problem was I had really long and messy connections and I was pulling my ground wrong. That's really like, that's, that's something we'll, we'll do like, one day I'll do a proper video about e-powers and we'll discuss everything about like how you should wire your ground, how you should wire your V-core, how you should do that. Right now, this is like, this is incredible that this even freaking starts. So, I want to check that my voltage control works. And it does. We have 1.2 volts. See? 1.23. And how much? And that's, that's on the output side. And this goes way up there. Like, this is currently, uh, when I was testing it, I limited it to uh, full, like, completely unloaded. This thing should spit out 2.1 volts which is stupid, okay? It'll like, it's perfectly good for powering RAM, it's perfectly good for powering pretty much anything at this point, uh, as long as you don't need as much juice as say this can deliver, this being the e-power. And one day we're gonna do a video about it now that it's free, so that might happen later this week. Might happen, because I'm not sure. Um, this is really cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you this freaking thing works, and before it burns my house down because the VRM does have a bit of a thermal issue. Uh, I do still need to remount this to it. Well, actually I need to get thermal pads and then mount it on there. I don't have thermal pads at the moment. But let's turn that off. Off, there we go. <laughs> That's more like it. I was already worried it was dead. So, let's see, can I can I get that ridiculous, ta-da. Yeah, with, with the light behind my head because, I don't know, it gives me a halo. You know, I'm, I'm saintly for GPUs. That, that's a terrible idea. Anyway, uh, let's just point it this way. That way I can move my head more. Anyway, so yeah, it works. Incredible. Um, still have to do a lot of work on it. It needs a lot more ground connections. It needs a lot more V-core connections. I need to put that heatsink back on there. I need to figure out how to mount a fan on the, uh, on the, the power board. How the hell? Is it that, like, I, every time I record, there's an ambulance going outside. It's like, people, you need to stop dying. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it needs more, more V-Core. Well, I don't think it actually needs more V-Core lines at this point because it's not dropping that well. Okay, so there's 70 amps. A 570 probably under load pulls, like, I think when I was doing LN2 on it, it was pulling, like, 200 to 300 which if I ran with what I have right there, that would be fire. So I do need to add, like, I will either switch back to this, except properly this time, or 
or I'm just going to keep piling on more and more 16 AWG, but that, that's going to take forever. So, especially because I've run out of 16 AWG right now, kind of. Well, I don't have all yellow any longer, so that's a bit of a problem. I'll have to, well, I'll probably use this for some ground, and I'll use the 16 for, no, it's 18. I'll use the 18 to do uh, V-Core. This will do some of the bigger ground ground positions. I'll still need some more of the smaller wires for the other grounds. And right now it's dropping so little voltage. Compared to when I last did it, uh, idle, it was dropping 50 millivolts. And right now it's dropping 15, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so freaking awesome that it works. And I, I want to do like a video about this, except I'm not really qualified. I'll see if I can get any other overclockers like who've done power board mods more than me to you know, maybe like do a Skype call with one of them and be like, yo, so do you have any pro tips for power boards? Because basically my tips are like, more wire. <laughs> That's it. Um, anyway, uh, it fires up, it runs, it doesn't blow me up. Uh, I'm really just rambling here, aren't I? Uh, you know what, let's just close it here. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below about pretty much anything. I don't really care at this point. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's like, oh, right, I have a Patreon, and there's shirts available, there's a link down to both of, bo to both of those down in the description, uh, I, I'm fully aware of the whole, there's no, ra ra keep calm, raise v-core shirts, because, well, I keep forgetting to, well, I've been putting off doing the, the upscale, and, uh, the GTX 1080 Strix video, that'll be tomorrow, maybe? I could do it today. I feel like today I feel like I'm in a recording mood, so I might just, but then YouTube will screw me over. And I guess I could record in advance, but I don't like sitting on content. So, uh, what else is there? Because if I sit on content, what ends up happening is I'm like, yeah, it wasn't good enough. And then in 24 hours, I'll be shooting it again. Um, and I said I wanted to finish this. So let's finish this. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Uh, where's the.